first time we are doing the, the defilé, the essayage and the fitting here and uh, it's very comfortable because we can just stand up as we just now with Carl go look at the catwalk and uh, have the real effect on the, on the model. So we like it very much, it's our new home. It's about 11,000 square meters and uh, in cubic meters it's even bigger because it's very, very tall, it's 30 meters high. So it's uh, the longest catwalk in Europe. Pour moi, le point de départ, il s'estompe souvent en cours de route et ça devient le point de l'arrivée qui est important. Moi, en fait, je suis très, très bien improvisé, mais très professionnellement improvisé. Il y a beaucoup de cohabitations étranges. Il y a des, des fourrures qui ont du, euh, du silicone euh, oui. tacheté. Des oui, mais il faut que ce soit des trucs d'aujourd'hui. Hein. Euh, on ne va pas faire des trucs comme on faisait dans le passé. Enfin, dire, euh, dans les, les dernières 50 années, ils ont fait les plus belles et les fourrures les plus extraordinaires techniquement. Mais là aussi, il faut évoluer, continuer. On ne va pas vivre sur un acquis euh, parce que ça, c'est très, très ennuyeux. Enfin, moi, ça m'embête. Hein. Dobbiamo stringere molto perché la ragazza è magra, piccola, piccola. So you're Iman with two A's, right? Yes, Iman. It's yeah. your first season? Yes, it is. First time in Milan. <laughs> well, what were you doing six months ago? At school. How old is she? 16. She's 16 and she doesn't... Does she realize what, what is happening to her? I don't think so. But I think that's quite normal because when I was 16, I was Carl's fit model. Not 16, 19. Not that he remembers, and I had no idea who he was. I was just, I was just doing a job. And you were mesmerized, or you didn't realize? No, I just stood there in a dress. <laughs> and you were cool about it? Yeah, I had no idea who he was. And then I didn't last very long. And no. that didn't really bother me, because I didn't know who he was. <laughs> Uh, and we're not going to have any sleep tonight, but I, but I feel really very good. The collection looks really good. Pure, brutal glamour. Brutal is like this, like fur escaping, exploding through the seams. This is uh, the new bag. It's called By The Way. I think it's nice because it's a little First, very quite simple, but of course simple in a friendly way. And I like this natural feeling, organic, but with this splash of uh, synthetical color almost. Another thing that I like in this bag is when you have a little tail in crocodile, uh, in just plain leather. I'm really a big fan of also plain leather, but with a twist always like those handles, you know, winter handles. They're so soft when you carry them like this and they can really give you a different touch.
reveal, get the big reveal. The reveal. <laughs> and then it's like you go a bit, and then you like totally twirl. Reveal. Full pound turn. <laughs> and then you go again. No, but, and then I sort of turn back 12? again, and then yeah, you go yeah. back again. <laughs> okay. Would you like first explain it to us? Yeah. Yeah. We were like, that's really not how it works. Do a little back turn. <laughs> hey. But don't you take off your twirl, look back. Boom. Look back. Boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, and she does. <laughs> A little bit of dark here on the chin so the frames the face and then hopefully the face will pop out like that in the light in all the fur and the hats and the, and the hair and everything. C'est ma première fois à Milan. J'espère avoir une nuit Fellini à un moment cette semaine. Mais j'ai very high expectations. <laughs> I've been working with Carl on Fendi for about six years, but it, it never repeats itself to work with Carl. It, it's always something new, which is incredibly challenging and rewarding. So basically this is going to play around you, not too close, that is going to be bigger now. <laughs> See? That's why it's easy. I love the idea to put fresh flowers uh, on the fur. And my inspiration for that was the famous song of Billie Holiday, uh, where she sings with her unique voice, he gave me violets for my fur. And I think it's a very romantic, sensuous, modern idea to have this fragility uh, of the orchid on the fur. You know, it will not last and nothing is more, uh, how could I say, emotionally strong than thing who will not last. some mystery into it and he came up with this idea of a corsage which ladies used to wear in the 20s and 30s from fresh flowers that they would pin to their lapel or the front of their dress um, and it just it's amazing how evocative it is I, it, you're not quite sure what it's reminding you of or where it's taking you but it changes the mood of the collection completely it's very clever
the drone flying above the head of the top mannequin. So you're going to see What's it in head the first head time. Drones? What an incredible image that is, that a live orchid against fur. It's so decadent, it seems to me. Really, really, really decadent. It's just, I mean, the, the imagination, the, the refusal to be limited by anything remotely terrestrial. I mean, genius. All right, yeah, get good, go. Run, run, run. C'est dans la culture de Fendi d'être dans cette espèce d'ambiguïté entre le, entre le passé et le futur. Mais je crois que Karl en est d'ailleurs la, la représentation même. Et, et je crois que la nouvelle direction que, que prend Fendi est, est parfaitement logique avec, avec cette, cette philosophie-là. Mmh. 